guys, so let's get back into me and Alicia chatting about dressage training. So, wouldn't be the first time where you're riding a horse and what you think is happening is actually not what's happening. In the video we're about to show you, in my voiceover, I uh, am talking about what I'm feeling when I'm riding, talking about what I'm thinking about when I'm riding, talking about everything that go is going on in my head while I am riding, and never once do I mention anything about how her back feels, what I am noticing to do with her back, or any concept of the back. But what do you think we're talking about with Alicia? The first thing that she notices, we've got to fix that horse's back. What is all of this about? Let's get into it. All four legs are on the same track, so to speak. Yeah? Yep. So you have step one correct. So that's tick. I have that for my warm-up. Now what else do I need for my warm-up? What you need is for your horse to move freely through her body. So if you had a look mm -hmm. there you might say that she's a little, maybe not stiff, but certainly rigid in her frame. It doesn't seem supple or mobile. Mm -hmm. If you watch her back, you can't see her back doing this, correct? Yes. Yeah? Yes, so correct. What you would then, so, what, so what the next part of this element, of this part of where you're riding in that moment is to go, I've got straightness, check. Now do I have my for the freedom in the body? Is she using her back? No, she's not. What can I adjust to get her back to move more? So you might look at the stride as your first thing. All right, so she feels straight to me. That, but I guess what is straight? Relatively straight. So if I did have to pick, I would still say that the left inside rib cage is shorter. And then press play again. Yep. We have the look. We know she's straight, so we can stop looking at that. Let's have a look at her back. As her legs move, do you see her back moving as well very much? Yeah, not much. Not much. Cool. So then go back again. We watch the same bit again. So then we go right. Her back's not moving very much. Let's have a look at her feet. Are her feet stepping up into the front step, the front foot step spot? So is her back hind legs stepping up into the front foot step? I say just, yeah. Okay. So I would say not quite. So <laughs> I'm that, more optimistic than you. But the answer is definitely not hell yeah. Yeah? No. So that's how you would, so that's the first thing you do. So it's logical that if they're stepping little like this, you do it yourself. You use your hands like this and do it. Mm. Do it. Oh, sorry. No, I, I'm down here. I'm too little. So we do this. Do yes. Steps with your arms and see how it affects your back. Now do big, long steps with your arms and see how it affects your back. Yeah. yeah? And how, so in the how, because I get on and I'm thinking big, more, forward, and it doesn't look that, but in my head I'm like, oh, we're going really forward. And is it is it just forward? Do you get on and do you just think go or what? How do you get them to take big flow steps like this? So this is a great question. So this is all the deduction of the sport. And this is what makes great riders. Yes, it's yes. not that they're able to do anything fancy that you can't do. It's the deduction process. So step one, we have a straight horse. Brilliant. Step two is how supple, how much, how freely is he moving? We've deduced that he's not freely moving in the back. Let's then go, okay, we know this. What could be some reasons why? The very first thing we've come up with is just checking whether he's actually trotting in a correct pace or not. And we've realized he's not actually. He's stepping a little bit short. 
we know that that's one thing that we can then change. So then the change might be as simple as you rise bigger and quicker and see if that's enough to get her to take one bigger step. Some horses, it's just that you're telling them to go that small without realising and you take a bigger rise and a bigger step and they follow you. It might just be fixed like that. It may not. You may find that you ask to take the horse to take a bigger step and they start to lose rhythm and then you've got another problem that you then have to look at. Or you might find that you change your rise and she doesn't lose rhythm but she also doesn't follow you. And it's almost you get the feeling that there's nothing else there, you know, that, that, that she doesn't have yeah. the ability to take mm -hmm. a bigger step, right? So then yeah. you go, oh, and that's what I would suspect you probably have a little bit here, that she's quite stiff and there's almost not the ability to take a bigger step. So that's when you start to go, right, what am I missing? So I trust that video was helpful to you in your riding and training. To me, dressage, riding and training is such a puzzle. It's such a challenge because if you approach it at face value and you only fix what is present on the surface, you're probably not going to get too far. <laughs> and that is how I approached dressage, riding and training. I looked at the test, I figured out what I needed to do and I just surface leveled it. I just did what had to be done on the surface. Alicia's gift and talent and amazingness is she goes deep. She can fix the root causes of the surface problems. So while I might be in a dressage test going, oh, I've got to fix something right in here right now in this moment to get a flying change, Alicia will fix it six months ago so we never get into that scenario in the test in the first place. So I really hope that us sharing these videos helps you understand what you need to do in your writing and training. So comment below what your biggest aha and learning has been from this video and what you are going to do differently in your writing and training because of what you've just learned. Remember, if you're loving it, hit the subscribe button so you never miss anything. And if you need more help with your dressage, there's a dressage institute. Click the link in the show notes to find out all about it and how you can access the Dressage Institute and help your dressage writing now.